<coughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Kazuki Hyozo. I'm working in Fujitsu Laboratories. Today, I'm, I'm talking about uh, new malware DPDK OBS for high performance NFB platform. At first, uh, I'll talk about NFB and the performance degradation issue on NUMA systems as a background of our research. Uh, NFB uh, network function virtualization is a concept introduced by H, uh, the European T Telecommunication Standards Institute on, uh, in 12, uh, 2012. Uh, <clears throat> conventionally, uh, carrier companies use the traditional network appliances uh, which is integrated proprietary hardware and software. Uh, these are complex to integrate uh, several appliances from different vendors and to operate them. It uh, results in high capex, high opex, and long time uh, to update them. Against these issues, uh, Edge introduced the NFB concept to use the standard servers and softwares to construct network functions. Uh, in addition, including SNA-based management and deployment for network function uh, in the concept. Uh, <clears throat> it is expected to reduce capex, opex, and time to update within significantly. Uh, there are many important aspects for NFB platform, we think. Uh, for instance, uh, community hardware such as IS servers, standard NICs, and standard Ethernet switches can be used and standard API uh, for VNF, such as VAT.io, can be used. Uh, very important to meet uh, the original concept uh, to, to is use, uh, use and to reduce cost of them. IO throughputs and the number of IO ports are also important uh, <clears throat> to process many traffic to from VNF and to support varieties of uh, connection topology, uh, which is needed from NFB platform and the VNFs. <clears throat> and another important aspect is accommodation of VNFs in the box uh, to reduce cost per VNF and footprints of the data center. Currently, we focus on the accommodation of VNFs and IO ports in the box, especially. Uh, if we want to increase VNFs and IO ports per box, uh, what is to do? Uh, one of the easiest way is to use the multi-sket server. Here, we assume, we, uh, if we assume a CPU has eight cores and three IO slots, uh, use four cores for OBS, and a VM occupies one core. A box with a CPU can support four VMs and three NICs. If we can use the multi-sket server with two CPUs, uh, a box sub can support eight VMs and six NICs. Accommodation of VNFs and IO ports uh, will be simply twice larger. However, uh, there is a the well-known uh, well issue of the performance degradation by a resource placement in new architecture. For instance, on, on the multi-sket server employing NUM architecture with DPDK OBS, uh, if the VM is running on the NUM node different from the node uh, to which NIC is connected, its communication throughput may decrease significantly uh, because DMA buffer area and uh, structure for DPDK ports uh, are, are located on the memory of the NUM node to which NIC is connected and the bearing for a bat IO net is allocated by QM uh, on the memory of the NUMA node on which VM is running in general. Then uh, received traffic uh, will across QPI, uh, uh, will travel across QPI by CPU. How much does performance decrease? Uh, to study uh, this performance degradation issue, uh, we measured the VNF throughput uh, with two cases such as these figures. Uh, the case one is a normal case, which means uh, no flows go through QPI. 
the case two is a case that only VMs are running on different nodes, uh, which means flows go through QPI by CPU. Uh, we use three VNFs, which are L3 forwarder without DPDK, and traffic is uh, inputted from uh, uh, two 10 gigabit support in bidirection. This slide shows that uh, show results uh, on maximum throughput at no drop condition. Uh, <clears throat> we observe the case to the throughput goes down 30 to 40 percent in average compared with the case one. This is a significant performance degradation, we think. We also considered and analyzed the issue. Uh, considering QPI links bandwidth, uh, which is about 307 gigabps in bidirection, uh, it's enough for uh, the previous test case. Uh, on the other hand, Remote memory access latency is high. Uh, remote memory access needs uh, about uh, 120 nanoseconds in contrast with uh, level three cache rate access latency is uh, 10 about 10 nanoseconds and local memory access latency is uh, about seven, uh, 17 nanoseconds. Mm -hmm. Level three cache miss penalty is significant high, we think. Uh, we also measured performance counters of Geon processor uh, concerning level three cache miss and remote memory access events. As we expected, uh, in the case two, level three cache miss and remote memory access events uh, increased significantly compared with the case one. Uh, so. Uh, using DMA instead of CPU to access remote memory, it is expected to increase throughput uh, because memory locality and level three cache hit rate is improved. To confirm our expectation, uh, we measured throughput with the additional test case. The additional test case, the case three, uh, is a case that only NIC is connected to the NUMA node, uh, different from the node uh, on which all softwares are running. And NIC can directly uh, well, receive the packet to the memory uh, of the NUMA node uh, on which its destination VMs are running by DMA. Uh, we used uh, version 2.4.1 of OVS with some modifications in order to uh, user can specify a NUMA node for a V port for this test. If you use a specify a NUMA node for a V port, uh, DP, DMA buffer area and MBUF pool uh, for the DPDK port uh, allocated on the memory of the specified NUMA node. This slide shows results on the pret test and the additional test. Uh, we observed the case three achieved high throughput at the same as case one. Uh, here on the way, we summarize our study on the, uh, this performance degradation issue. We think uh, flows go through QPI by CPU, uh, which is the case two, mainly influences throughput degradation and flows go through QPI by DMA, uh, which is the case three, uh, has little effect on throughput degradation, and it achieves comparative performance with uh, no flows go through QPI, which is the case one. Uh, considering the case v uh, VMs are learning on all NUMA nodes in general, uh, DMA should write flows uh, to the memory of the NUMA node on which their destination VM is running. Uh, from here, I, I'll talk about a concept of NUMAWA DPDK OVS uh, based on the previous contents and its trial implementation and evaluation result. 
Uh, here is the concept and basic design of NumaWare DPDK of VS. Uh, we consider to use multiple receive queues and mark filter feature of standard NIC. Uh, in this design, each NUMA node has a receive queue associated with a hardware queue on its own memory uh, so that NIC can uh, directly forward received packet to the memory uh, of the NUMA node on which uh, its destination VMs are running. Received packets are distributed uh, to each queue according to the destination MAC address by MAC filter. We implemented this uh, design uh, on trial with in Intel X71 NIC. We used VMDQ and MAC VLAN filter uh, in order to forward received packets to the memory of the NUMA node on which uh, destination VMs are running. Using these features, uh, destination VSI, uh, which is a set of queues, can be specified corresponding to uh, the destination MAC address. In this implementation, uh, packet with unregistered MAC address got the main VSI of the physical function in default. Uh, so it only needs to register destination MAC addresses uh, which I wanted to go to the NUMA node other than the NUMA zero. And the broadcast frames can be handled without registration. However, this implementation needs some modifications to poor mode driver of the DPDK in order to uh, seamlessly use queues of main VSI and VMD queues uh, from OVS. Uh, this slide and the next slide uh, I talk, I'll talk about uh, some of the main modifications from original OVS. Origin, uh, first modification is for uh, allocation of MBAF pool. Original OVS allocates only single MBAF pool for a DPDK port with socket ID of the device. We change it to allocate and hold multiple MBAF pools for each NUMA node for a DPDK port. Uh, second modification is a set, uh, for set up receive queues on each NUMA node. Original OVS sets up all receive queues for a port on the same NUMA node specified by socket ID of the device. Uh, we change it to set up each receive queue on the NUMA node uh, specified by NUMA ID associated with the queue index value. Another main modification is to add the new functions in order to MAC addresses into, uh, in order to register MAC addresses into uh, MAC VLAN filter. In this trial implementation, MAC addresses uh, which should be registered, uh, manually registered. Uh, to do this, we developed a new utility of this NUMA control to add or delete an entry of MAC to uh, destination NUMA information to the specified bridge. The bridge manages the MAC to NUMA table by receiving a command from OBS NUMA control and set MAC to NUMA information in the table uh, to all DPDK ports. And we implemented an API to set a MAC NUMA information to the specified DPDK port in NetDev DPDK layer. Uh, this API uses an API of the DPDK, RT is uh, dev MAC add, add function uh, to register MAC address to MAC VLAN filter of the physical function. Uh, we evaluated uh, our approach uh, compared with the standard OVS. Uh, we measured the total throughput of six VNX, uh, which are uh, L3 forward without DPDK as the same as the previous tests. In this evaluation, uh, we used two NICs uh, connected to each CPU. Each NIC has a two 10 gigabit support. And the traffic is inputted from a port of each NIC, uh, which means 20 gigabps uh, is maximum uh, because a VNX capacity saturated at a lower rate uh, with traffic input from all four ports. 
in, in both of these cases, uh, two PMG threads, uh, which means two CPU cores, are used uh, to handle received packets uh, from physical ports. Uh, we tried 10 times of maximum rate searching at no drop condition for each packet size. Uh, the left side graph shows uh, results on median throughputs of 10 results, and the right side graph shows the results on maximum throughputs in 10 results. Uh, red, bar, uh, red bar is uh, for uh, standard OBS, and green bar is for uh, our approach. Result. Uh, these results show that our approach achieved uh, over two times higher throughput compared with the standard OVS uh, with uh, the packet sizes, uh, which is throughput, does not saturate with wire rate. Uh, at last week, uh, I conclude uh, this presentation. Uh, we introduced the performance degradation issue uh, on NUMA systems with DPDK OVS, and the concept and prior implementation of NUMA via DPDK OVS as a sol uh, solution of the issue. Uh, we introduced a way uh, to reduce remote memory access by CPU uh, in order to improve, through improve throughput. In particular, uh, we introduced a, a concept to use multiple receive queue and mark filtered to forward received packet directly to the memory of the NUMA node on which its destination VM is running by DMA. Each NUMA node has a receive queues uh, associated with a hardware queue on its own memory so that NIC can write received packet directly to each NUMA node according to the destination MAC address. We also implemented the our approach on trial with Intel X71 Nix and evaluated it. Uh, we observe significant performance improvement in our approach. It achieves two times higher throughput compared with uh, the standard OBS in the case that uh, flows goes through QPI. However, uh, there, is a some, uh, there are some limitations in our approach. NIC to be enabled in our approach is limited. A few MAC addresses can be registered. It depends on NIC specification. Uh, only destination MAC address can be used to specify destination NUMA, uh, NUMA node. It's difficult to support a box using tunnel protocol, uh, such as VXRAN uh, in current standard NICs and so on. Uh, so we need more investigations to extend the applicable cases of our approach. Uh, that concludes my presentation. Uh, thank you for uh, your kind attention.